So this video is all about me. It's about it. It's about myself. I'm talking about myself here. I'm going to explain myself to you people before I had my awakening. So before I had my awakening, initially I was this kind of nigga where I was always being tossed around. So I came from the from the. came from a disorganized family unit so when I was small when I was younger I was being bullied I was always kept I was always they were always treating me like I was never theirs sometimes I would ask myself if they were really my parents because I was always being mistreated right from a very young age so that kept me under a kind of situation that I could not speak at even my own needs I could not ask for it's always timid always be quiet no one wants to listen to me no one wants me to even speak so that kept me under that kind of a bubble it did I know that my five and my family my father was a narcissist he was being used by demons to perform all those kind of activities on me because See, one thing is that these demons that that, that are on this plane, they used to know you. Once you pop out of your mother's womb, they know you. They know you. They know the light you carry. They know your mission on this earth before you yourself know it. So they start. They start attacking you right from day one. So they used my parents to attack me, monitor my moves. And I was kept in that bubble. I kept on engaging with people, and everybody I come across with, they would treat me very rough, very, very, very unkind. And life was life was hell for me. It was tough. Even up till now, the battles are still going on. But now that I had my awakening, I started realizing where all this fault has been always coming from. Who has always been fighting me? Up to there, there was there was a place I worked, and that place almost took my life. Those people, the enemy used those people to attack me, and I nearly died. I was rushed to the hospital. I spent three days in the hospital before I could recover myself. So this awakening, as before, I could see people for who they are, but. I lack that that mentality to trust my instincts. I was not conscious. I would see people behaving with me, and I would see them for who they are. But still, I would know that this is not good. But I will be. I will find it very difficult to admit it and accept it to my own self. That yes, I am indeed. I am seeing these people for who they are. So those kind of things kept on and on going on, going on and on and on and on. People has been mistreating me that way until I was with a narcissist. What triggered my awakening was I was with a narcissist and I was working for this man. I worked with that man for a year after I left another narcissist because these people they are everywhere. These narcissistic people they are everywhere. Each time I may I, I, I make a move. I will make a contact with them. They are always coming across me. So these demons are always looking for me everywhere I go, using different, different bodies to attack me. Sometimes I will notice the same. I will notice that the same attitude that the previous person I had contact with displayed with me. It is the same attitude that this new person I am in contact with is still displaying. Little will I know that it is the same demon that has been attacking me that is just moving from bodies to bodies to attack me. So I was working with the man. The man was treating me very, very, very rough. I was working with this man. I was seeing money, but I could not use this money to even help myself to do anything. I was restless. The man never gave me a time to rest, even when I'm sick. He would not allow me to recover. He kept on pushing me. 
he will make me even do more than I can do. Because that is what these narcissistic people do. Telling me things like, you know, the last person I was with was even better that could even do better than you. Making me feel like I am not doing enough and I am not enough. And little did I know that I am being programmed by those demons, always complaining about my behaviors. There's nothing I will do that is always right in his face. Making me to always do more and at the end of the day I will be very, very tired and drained. I work 24 hours, night, day I am working. So if I normally have time for myself, it could be a day, I mean, it could be an hour, two, three. I hardly find sleep at night. So this thing kept going on and on and on and on till it was too much and unbearable for me. I was so much exhausted to an extent that everything became, I, I became, I felt like Life is no longer worth living anymore. I had money, but there was no value for that money. I will look at the money like bullshit, and I will look at what am I even working for this money for? If this money cannot really help me as I am having it, I will have different, different kind of thoughts. I will be like, because I felt like there, there was nowhere to go because I was completely drained like my energy was so I was one day out because normally when when it's too much for me on variable sometimes I'll go to the bush where I could find nature and I will just be there. So I was there, I was walking one day to that place that normally goes go go to rest my hair. And usually usually when I go there I'll switch off my phone so that they won't they won't contact me. So as I was going there something clicked in my head and it was as if it was as if somebody came and touched me on my head and I felt like I felt like wait am I missing out something and I became I became restless like what is going on I, I stood for a while and was asking myself what is going on and I said what am I doing here I started asking myself questions I didn't even know that that was awakening I had and immediately that awakening happened I opened my phone and there was a YouTube uh, I normally I used to watch videos on YouTube so there was a particular channel that popped up popped up out of my YouTube I clicked on the video immediately I had that awakening that was when I started seeing I started seeing and hearing things I, ha I, 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 I have not heard in my life before spiritual things. Normally, I used to believe in spirituality. I am not a church-going person. Not that I hate the church, but I don't just feel aligned with the church. I like spiritual stuff. So, this man started teaching about spirituality. And everything that man was explaining in that video is things I have gone through and things that I am going through and the particular answers are needed at that moment because i was like what am i going to do with my life now because i felt like everything every month this is the end of my life this narcissist has drained the energy out of me and i was lifeless and i was thinking this is the end of it all so i watched the video and exactly the answers i was looking for this man was talking and i was watching the video i felt like it was me exactly this man was talking to you know in those scenarios where you could be looking for answers and somebody just passed by and they say something that you want to hear, you will know that this particular message is for you. I felt like this man was completely talking to me. That was when when this man finished talking, he, he was talking about the narcissist. Yet yeah, then I didn't know what was the narcissist. I, didn't, I knew that I'm a good person then, but I did not even know that I was an empath or even a chosen one. And this narcissist that was troubling me, there was a day he came out and saw me, he looked at me, he said, Confidence is choosing, though. he's choosing one. Though. He went back into his room. Then I didn't even know what he was talking about.
I just looked at him and I smiled. I didn't even know what he was trying, what he knew. That is, you see, these demons, they even know you more than the way you know yourself. They know you. On a very spiritual level, they know you for who you are. It is when you don't know yourself that they keep on playing on your senses, keep on playing on you. So immediately I had that enlightenment and I came back to the house. When I came back to the house, this time around, it was as if my eyes, I, 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 could, I could see, I could scan somebody like an x-ray. When I looked at this man this time around, it was no longer his face that I was seeing. I was seeing a particular entity in him that the thing kept me in shock and I just took my eyes off and I went I was in a panic mood I was panicking I will not lie I panicked because I was fearful then because this man has already instilled fear in me that each time even when I'm right and he came out I quarreling and shouting I will not be able to say a word because I was afraid but he kept me in that fear state so when I realized, and then I had money, I had enough money in my account because he, he never liked giving me money. But when I was there, most of the people that he works with, we used to do one or two like that and I would have money. Wish him himself the divine you. You know, when you are fooling somebody, a fool who cannot fool another fool will be a fool forever. So while he was fooling me, I was also fooling him on the other corner and making money. So when this thing happened, was... I just secretly kept quiet. He may come across this video, I don't mind. Now I know who I am. I secretly arranged myself and that very night I carried my bag out. None of them knew it. And the next morning I told him I am leaving. And when I left, he did not know that I have already taken my bag out before that time. So when I left, I told him that I was leaving and I carried a little waterproof on my hand and I went outside of the house. He went and checked my bag where I used to keep it. Tell you how this world, how desperate this man needed to destroy me. He now discovered that my bag was no longer there, you see? Because he thought I was going to get prepared for the journey and I'll come back to take my bag. So he quickly went, maybe he wanted to carry the bag, do one or two but I was faster than him because I knew. So that was how I left that man. I had no direction when I was leaving that place, but my instincts told me to just leave. And that was how I left. I left that place. And I have not gone in contact with that man till today. And when I, when I was traveling, I could not stop crying because <laughs> These narcissist people, they, they, they want, they don't, they don't. These demons that were praised within these individuals, they want no life for you. When I say I was, I was living life like hell. Even when I had money, my life was like hell. So this is how these demons they kept dealing with me. They dealt with me, and I succeeded living the narcissist. And when I left him. To give my life and get my life back in order, see. So, this is the battle that is going on spiritually. When the veil lifted, I could not unsee what I saw. Yes, I could not unsee what I saw. I saw the demon I has been dealing with over all these years that has been hoping from bodies to bodies to attack me. I saw the demon, and one thing. When you are waking, them themselves, they won't even know that you are waking. It is when you act that they will know that, oh, this individual has awakened, he has known the game more. They will take a, a step ahead of you. So I acted like when that bob, my bobs click that day, I came back to the house and when I was looking at them that moment, I was seeing exactly the demons in them and I kept quiet. I was, I acted as if nothing has happened. <laughs> I acted as if nothing has happened. I kept on enlightening myself, enlightening myself. And today I am able to come out to speak to the public. How I survived it, narcissist. <laughs> I, these demons, 
they want they were they, they wanted killing me and they still want to kill me but you see the difference is that when you know the game you'll be able to play it better and one thing with them these people when you come in contact with them they don't want to know what your opinion is it is what they want that is most important they don't want to know if you had good reasons or not they don't want to know what they are interested in is do what i ask you to do that's all so that's what i was, i wanted to share with you guys my story my life and about the narcissist so i will drop it here for you guys <coughs> i'll catch you guys up in my next video and now i am doing fine since i left the narcissist i'm okay and i am doing fine my in their little mind they will believe outside of them nothing good can come to you they have a little mind and a little sense of reasoning they act like demons you see see demons as this kind of children where they will keep disturbing you and they will never let you to be alone as a mother that is how demons behave they keep toasting and pushing you around pushing your buttons putting you pushing your buttons putting you pushing your buttons and at the end of the day they will laugh and act like it is nothing why you are feeling it emotionally mentally you see so since i left the narcissist i have continued educating myself learning myself it is now i discovered that i'm even an empath the chosen one that i have a light that these entities want to kill but it is over now so thank you all guys for watching my videos you can comment below let me know what you think about this video and what has been your experience within the way with the narcissist much love and blessings